Hey guys. Alright, second rant I've ever done. Okay, so my uncle, who I haven't talked to for about 15 years now, wants to come back into my sister and myself, my own life because my sister got really famous from an article. And now he's saying, oh, well, that's my, my, my niece. You know what? I'm going to curse because I don't care anymore. That's bullshit because you haven't been there for 15 years. Now you want to say it's your niece? Where were you when we need you? You weren't there for us. You haven't even, like, helped us at all. If anything, you, like, decided to not talk to us. That's the truth. I don't blame my cousins. Well, technically, they're not really my cousins, but biologically, they're not. Um, but the thing is, you haven't been for us for so many years. So why are you coming back to us and saying, oh, well, this is my niece? Really? So you weren't there for us for 15 years, but now all of a sudden, because she gets famous, you're there for us. What is that? I'm sorry, but that's just being a bad uncle. I don't care what you say. This At this point, you don't care about us. If you did, you would still be in our lives before then. You wouldn't care that she got famous. Oh, yeah, she's my niece. Mm -hmm. So again, what were you those 15 years? And I know my dad's seen you at hockey games. So that tells me you were around, you just didn't care about us. So don't even say you did. You didn't. You obviously didn't. You didn't care about me. Even if I follow you on Twitter, you're not going to follow me back. Like, you really give a crap what I do or what my sister does. You just want our money. That That's what it comes down to. You just want money because, or recognition, because my sister got famous. What is that? Do you see me go around going, oh, I know this famous person. Oh, maybe, maybe um, you know, they'll make me famous because I know them from association. No, I'm not like that. Who does that, really? <laughs> Uncle Ross, you want to be part of our family? You should have stayed the, our part of our family for the 15 years you missed. And yes, you missed 15 years, at least. <clears throat> Fine, you got divorced from Aunt Shelley. Fair enough. You know what, that's none of my business. But the fact that you cheated on her and then decide to not talk to me or Danielle for the last 15 years. And I've reached out to all of you. I reached out to Uncle Glenn. He has talked to me a few times. Uh, Erica's talked to me once or twice. You know, I don't blame her because she's busy too. She has kids as well. But she at least tried. And we went to Disney together. I mean, it's not like she didn't try at all. She at least gave effort. And Grandma, I still talk to Grandma. That's the sad part. I still talk to Grandma, even after all these years. I mean, I don't talk to her often anymore, but I mean, I try. Um, and, and Erica talks to Grandma all the time because they live like right next to each other. But my point being is, you want to come back into our life because my sister got a lot of popularity and got famous from this? What is that about? Come on now. Really? Really? Now, if I were an uncle and Danielle had a kid, which she doesn't, but if she did, and I haven't seen the kid for that many years do you really think and he got really famous or something or she got really famous or something and all of a sudden I decided oh well I'd want to be part of their life do you really think I would waste 15 years not to talk to them and then when they get famous talk to them who does that really what kind of shady person does that I'm sorry but that's very shady I'm just so upset with this because this is ridiculous. Seriously. Alright. Well, this is my take on how I feel about my uncle at this point. Alright. Peace out, guys.